Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. Exciting day today. We've got a new lake we're going to try. So I've been checking this one out on Google Maps and I looked at the DNR survey numbers on this lake. It's got great numbers for largemouth bass, especially toward that larger end of the size. And man, it just looks fishy out here, doesn't it? Kind of a secluded, out in the middle of nowhere lake. We've got the place to ourselves. I doubt anybody else will show up out here today. <laughs> yeah, this is my kind of spot. Perfect conditions for frog fishing out here too. Oh, bird, that water's a little chilly. I think we're gonna hammer them out here today. So I'm gonna toss the frog around. I've got a Northland reed runner frog tied on. We'll start out with that at least. A little farther than I wanted it to go. I'm gonna just fish my way through here a little bit. See if we get bit at all, but it opens up right up ahead here. Probably should have put on some bug spray before I hit the water. Let's hope not get away from those mosquitoes once I get away from the launch a bit. Nice foggy morning out here. We got one. Well, that didn't take too long. It's a little guy, real skinny looking fish. Looks like he's been eating some craws. His mouth is all red there. Man, look how skinny that one is though. Almost sickly looking. Hopefully that's not how they all are out here. Well, if it is, I'm sure they'll be hungry. Well, it's a start. Chuck that frog out there. We'll cover some water with him. Tighten down my drag a little bit. Yeah, it looks mighty fishy out here. Oh, mosquitoes have thinned out out here a little bit at least. My place might have been a little bit better fish. Uh, <laughs> about the same one I caught before. Another real skinny looking fish. Ah, geez, look at that. Yeah, this one's different though. It's most not quite as red. Skinny, skinny fish in this lake. At least so far. <laughs> right when I looked away is when he bit. <laughs> yeah, well, at least this one isn't quite as skinny looking. A little bit more 
normal. Getting a little bit nervous with those super skinny ones because it's hard to grow bigger fish if there's a shortage of food for them. But that one looked a little bit better. I probably startled anything that was in there, but <laughs> I'm gonna toss a frog way back in there and see if anything goes smash. It's another lake I fish. This is the type of spot where I catch all the big ones out of. I wouldn't say it's a big one, but it's a fish. Well, might be the biggest one, at least the longest one I've caught out here so far. I just want to get a length on that fish. Yeah, about 16 and a quarter. I mean, they just seem so much bigger when they actually have a belly on them. out of me though I'd rather be catching skinny fish than no fish at all. <laughs> and hey, we're getting them on the frog. It's always a fun way to catch a few. I am working my way over to the bigger part of this lake. It's kind of a two-part lake we launch here on the smaller shallow part. Maybe that second part of the lake is where the bigger, chunkier fish are hanging out. I'm just kind of paddling through here, trying to find where it opens up a little bit. I might go try that shoreline over there. That looks kind of fishy. It's a monster. It's a monster. Little baby. Probably the smallest one of the day so far. Didn't make my way over here to the second part of the lake. It's not a good start to over here. Oh, it's all kind of shallow over here. I do think it opens up a little bit more over that way. Maybe we'll find some bigger fish closer to some deeper water. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know. I'll give it at least another hour out here. See if we can't find something a little bit better. If not, I'm going to pack it up at this lake. It's a pretty lake. I was really hoping we'd find some nice fish out here, but I mean, judging by how skinny most of these fish are, I don't think we're going to find a whole lot much bigger. Despite the awesome survey numbers for this lake. I don't know. It's not a real deep lake and that survey was five or six years old. We've had a couple harsh winters since then so that could have took a toll on some of those bigger fish. Or it could be when they sampled them there's just a ton of the super skinny 15 to 16 inch fish and kind of padded that 15 to 19 inch catch range. There we go. <laughs> it's not much bigger than anything else I've been catching. Both that same size.
Not quite as skinny as some of them, at least. Now I give me my frog back. Well, I have spent a little bit of time tossing the wacky worm around out here. I've thrown the spook out in some deeper water as well. But really, the only action I've had out here today is on that frog. So I guess we'll keep on fishing the frog. net for you. Not a monster, but probably the biggest one I've found out here today. Hanging out back here by the beaver lodge. trees I've come across out here today. I wonder if it's holding any big bass. We'll find out. There's one. fish. Not too skinny looking like most of them I've been getting out here today. That might be the biggest one we've caught so far. I'm going to measure them. About 16 and a quarter. He's ready to swim. Well, we're catching a bunch of fish at least. out deeper toward the deep edge of the lily pads. Something out there. Oh yeah. That's probably the biggest one of the day right there. Well that's a decent fish right there. Probably the deepest one I've caught today too. I don't know. I have been working this stuff a little bit, but this is the first one I've found willing to bite out there. Oh, just a tad under 18 inches. If I stretched him, he might hit. I almost flipped my measuring stick into the water. Well, that's a nice one. That's more along the size of fish I was hoping to find out here today. At least we got one good one. Well, I'm gonna finish my lap around this part of the lake here, and then I think it's gonna be time to call it quits. I'll give it maybe another hour here. Oh, sticking a decent one kind of reinvigorates me where I want to <laughs> stay out here, but I do know we have some rain moving in, and I don't want to push my luck with that rain too much. I don't want to get poured on before I get my gear loaded up and have to make the three hour drive home soaking wet. But we'll see if we can find another fish or two before I head back.
<laughs> yeah, it kind of worked. I figured I'd speed reel it through there a little bit. See if anything swiped at it. And once that happened, just give it a little slow down and let that fish catch up. Just a little guy though. Serious? Just threw that right on top of another one there. <laughs> well, there are definitely fish in this lake, and they do like that frog. Get my legs fixed up on that little fella. over there. Something just hit the surface over there somewhere. Speed? Oh, there was a decent one over there. Well, I know where he was. He missed it and he didn't feel my hooks, I don't think. Still over there. Oh. <laughs> All right, how many times am I going to miss this fish? I hate braid more than I hate just about anything. <laughs> He's got to tangle up on me when I know there's a big fish up there. Got him that time. Yeah, that's not a bad fish either. Kind of on the skinny side, like most of them out here, but kind of fun to catch. They sure are aggressive. <laughs> well, if that's the same fish or not, but if it is, he missed that frog three or four times before I got my hooks in them there. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's trip. I'm just paddling my way back over to the launch right now. Yeah, it's always fun fishing a new lake and we found a whole bunch of hungry bass willing to eat that frog out here today. Unfortunately, as far as size goes, well, Nothing really worth writing home about. We found a few decent fish out here, but nothing real big. A lot of 
skinny little stunted bass on this lake, it seems. So I'll probably cross this one off my list for coming back to, at least in the foreseeable future. It was fun to come check it out though. I had a blast. We caught some fish out here. Not a bad way to spend the morning, if you ask me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.